everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through some of the basics of my ratio tip wood burner and some of my favorite tools. Um, I hope you like it and thanks for coming along. Enjoy! You stole my heart of gold after my silver soul. Can you dig in? The Razer Tip SSD10 is one of my favorite wood burners. It is a dual system that allows you to have two pens plugged in simultaneously and can easily switch back and forth. Today I'm going to focus on some of my favorite pens. The Ballpoint is part of series 99. This is the Spoon Shader, part of series 30. The transfer shader is part of series 73. Spear shader is part of series 5. The traditional skew is part of series 1. Knife tip is part of series 14. And the writing tip is my last one and it's part of series 9. Turning it on is pretty simple, just flip the switch to 1. Side B switch will turn on the pen on the right and side A will turn on the pen on the left. The red side is the heavy duty cord, it isn't as flexible as the black cord, but it does transfer heat at a maximum flow. This is the best for all heavy duty pens. You also have your heat dial to control temperatures 1 through 10. The first pen that I use is the knife tip. It has a small curve on the end of the pen and this one's part of series 14. This tip is best for bold lines, curves, and small linear details. I like to use this tip for my fur details and all my pet and animal portraits. The traditional skew pen is part of series 1. It is also really great to burn straight bold lines. I use both the knife and skew pens at temperature 5, but it all depends on the kind of wood you're burning. The one I'm burning at the moment is basswood. I like to have a scrap piece of wood to the side and test all heat temp before I begin on a project. These are some of the art pieces that I've burned using both the skew and the knife pens. The transfer shader is part of series 73, but I like to call this one the teardrop. This is one of my all time favorite shading tips. It helps shade small areas with a lot of detail. It's also pretty cool because you can use the side of this tip for some sketchy line work and you can also use the top of it for a stippling kind of texture. I highly recommend this pen to anyone looking to improve their skills in realistic wood burning. The Spear Shader part of Series 5 was the first shading tip I ever purchased and it was so worth it. This pen helps when you're wood burning large portions or trying to black out really big areas on the wood. It's pretty versatile as well since the sleek edges on the side allow you to wood burn really nice line work. I usually use this pen at around 7 to 8 temp depending on the type of wood I'm burning on.
The spoon shader is part of series 30 and it is the winner when it comes to creating really fun texture. This pen comes in a few different sizes and shapes. It creates a sort of swirly texture which is fun to see if you're wood burning plants, uh, vegetation, basically anything being referenced in nature. Here, you'll see all the different shading and texture that I use all the pens to create. I try to have a lot of fun and create really unique textures. I always loved you over my head Even when you lived alone to make your parents mad Say goodbye to your old life Turn the page from all my bed I don't care if loving you The ballpoint pen is part of series 99 and it is really great for any type of font work and calligraphy. This pen comes in a ton of sizes. The one I'm using right now is probably the smallest but you can find way larger ones. This pen is also really good for stippling and can be used for shading. The writing tip is part of series 9 and it functions pretty similarly to the ballpoint. I use this pen for a lot of my curved line work such as florals. I use both of these pens at heat level 6 through 8. It kind of just depends on the wood you're burning on. But I wanted you anyway. I always loved you over my head. Even when you lived alone to make your parents mad. Say goodbye to your own life. Turn the page for all of my bed. I don't care if loving you. see how you can create really nice intricate details with both tips and really smooth font work i hope you enjoyed the video and even though it's really brief i hope it helps you decide on what kind of pens and tips to get um, with your eraser tip. If you like my content and like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again.